All right, so hello, my name is Derek Spiva Jr. I am a composer, conductor, musician. My kind of exploration as a composer is, is to find ways to include music from other cultures because there's some amazing stuff going on and it's just as complex. This piece is called From Here a Path from the uh, Prism Cycles Leaps Suite. This series of uh, pieces, this collection of pieces, are all based on uh, rhythmic cycles found in uh, Indian classical music, also a lot of Awe drumming from West Africa, some elements of uh, an instrument called the Kaval. You know, with all of these different styles of music that I put in my music, I really, I want people to explore the music, the, the influences, because I think they would get a lot out of it. All music is everywhere now, right? So the opening of the piece is, this, is, is very similar to the opening of the saga. Uh, during the Awe migration, they were being kind of held c captive and they were being oppressed. They would play uh, Busago while the piece was playing and while the drumming was happening and the dancing was happening. They'd be kind of, you know, creating an opening in like a wall that they could kind of get out of. I took uh, some of the rhythms and I kind of laid it out as an introduction to the piece. The really cool thing about it is like once it gets started, there's like this bell pattern and when you listen to the orchestra, um, the strings kind of come in with that pattern. There's something about the way that those polyrhythms are that just makes me like want to move. I was going to bring a little taste of that in the classical music, really energize everybody. From Here Path has some elements of uh, an instrument from the Balkans called the Kaval. The most amazing thing about that instrument for me is the ornamentations. A lot of the, uh, the very, really quick, um, what, what we call in classical music, uh, mordants, where you, you go from one note to the next like really fast and then back again. So it adds like this amazing element of uh, kind of harmonic dissonance. The, the closest thing that you can relate it to in, in Western music is like, like jazz, but then there was something else like that was different um, than, than, than ornaments that you would hear in jazz. And I just, I just gravitated towards that. I just thought it was amazing. It, it's a phrase that's repeated three times uh, in a row and it's usually set within a specific cycle. Like, what's important about that? Why is that magical, right? Well, it's magical because uh, the way that the phrase fits over the cycle is it'll start in one spot and then it'll re repeat itself, and then by the third time, the very last note will land back on one, which we call sum. Sum is the end and the beginning. So the magic of it is that when it's happening, you're wondering like, can this person, this performer, make this tea high end on the, on the exact beat that it needs to end on? Total mental acrobatics put into the physical manifestation. And when you kind of understand what, what's happening when it happens, I, I think you really kind of get a lot out of it. 